Hello, I'm Cassie Knoll. This week on Suncoast FYI, Give Back Night for Cohen, Goodwill Partners with UCP, and a kids' black tie event under the big top with UCP Sarasota. All next on Suncoast FYI. Thanks for joining us today on Suncoast FYI. We're starting today's show with a story about a five-year-old boy that needs your help. The entire community is invited to participate in Give Back Night for Cohen and his mother Megan and his father Brendan Davely join me now to tell us more. So welcome to the show guys. So tell us a little bit about what's going on with Cohen. Um, Cohen has been diagnosed with medulloblastoma. Um, we went in for just a normal headache um, and came out finding that it was a lot more than just that. Mm -hmm. So how did, what, what happened? How were the steps along the way? He started developing headaches and then he started losing mobility issues pretty much. Mm -hmm. And it just got to the point where he was waking up screaming, crying of headaches where it wasn't normal. So we just took him to the doctor and then he referred us into all children's. And then from there you guys found out that there was actually a brain tumor. Yes. And then what happened from that point? We found out that the tumor had spread all over his brain and also down his spine, and then it developed into seizures, and he needed multiple surgeries and everything for him. Um, then it just yeah, now we're just doing treatment, you know, radiation, chemo, mm -hmm. you know, just trying to get ahead of it and and taking it day by day. Yeah, day by day. Yeah, and so obviously <laughs> medical expenses have built up during this time frame. Oh yeah. yes. So this is why we're here today to talk about an event that you guys have going on today at Kerr's Wing House um, called Give Back Night for Cohen. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, they're doing an event at the Kerr's Wing House in Sarasota, mm -hmm. and they're going to have raffle prizes and. Um, I think part of the food is supposed to go towards donation. Yeah, I think I'd heard it was $2 for every appetizer ordered all day long. Yes. Is going to Cohen. And then they're doing the prize raffling from donations from the community yeah. for that night. So that all would be very, very helpful yeah, for definitely. you guys for sure. So how do you guys stay strong and positive during this whole thing? Sticking together, family support, and lots of prayer. <laughs> yeah. So you guys just are, you guys are a good team. Yeah. Yeah. That's the For best, sure. that's a really good thing, that yeah. in this moment you guys are actually working together. <laughs> have no choice. You yeah. have to work hard. <laughs> you have to work hard. So what would your advice be for other parents that are maybe watching um, and may not understand completely what you're going through? That treasure every moment that you have with your kids, because in a second it's different. Just from that one doctor's appointment. Yeah. Yeah. Take it day by day. Do you guys you know. have other kids? We yeah. do. Besides Cohen? We have. He will be two in July. So he's oh, you're a firecracker. Your other son? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So how is he handling um, the whole situation with his brother? We try he's to, too young to understand, really. Yeah, but he senses it, so we just make sure that he has a good schedule, that we just keep him on that, so he, mm -hmm. he's being spoiled <laughs> a lot. <laughs> being spoiled rotten in the yes. meantime. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Try not to change too much for him, yeah. so yeah. he doesn't really know. That's going to be hard while he's yeah. growing up. Do you, how do you balance taking care of Cohen and your other son? We try to split our schedules where we can rotate between the two, but for the most part, lots of picturing, pictures and texting and, you know, FaceTime and stuff like that. Because I imagine you guys spend a lot of time at the hospital. Every day. We're living there. <laughs> yeah. At all, is that at All Children's? Yes. Up in, up in yes. St. Pete? Yeah. Yep. I've heard it's an amazing hospital yeah. up there. Very nice. Great they, food. They have awesome Great food. food. <laughs> they, take care of the kids. they take care of the families, too. That's what I've also heard about that hospital, yeah, is they don't just amazing. take care of the patient. Yeah. yeah. That's a really yeah. impressive. They've I'm thought glad. of every aspect of everything. Which know? is why it's all children. Yeah. Yes. For the kids. And yeah. that's, that's fantastic. I'm so glad that you guys, we have that hospital here yeah. to be able to do that. Um, so what would you say to parents that have concerns about their own children's health? If you have a feeling about something, just push it. Because a lot of times it seems that doctors kind of push it to the side, that it's just a, something that's not important. And when you have a gut feeling, just make sure that you pursue it. That way it doesn't linger and mm -hmm. take a long yeah. time. Yeah. So what have you learned from Cohen and how he's coping through his journey? He's the strongest five-year-old I've ever met. He's, he has pride. He won't even, like, he doesn't like to go, he doesn't like to get dirt, dirt, dirt. I can't even talk. He doesn't like to get dirty uh -huh. or poop in his diaper or anything like that. He likes to get up and go to the bathroom and he's He wants very, to be a big boy. Yeah. He wants to grow up. Yeah. He, he, yeah, he he's very let strong. this get him. And we've informed him on everything, every step of the way. We've not hid anything from him, and he says he's not scared, so. Oh, my goodness. Okay. If so many adults could have that same amazing attitude, yeah. that would just be 
Yeah. Fantastic. That's really neat to hear that he has such a positive attitude and yeah, definitely. That's good. That's really it helps good us. It makes us stronger. I'm sure it does because he just turned five, right? Yeah. On um, the 26th. And he was in, he was diagnosed in February. The yeah, last week of February. He spent his birthday in the hospital. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So this has been a really short time period with a lot of six things. Six weeks we've been there. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot to happen in six weeks. Yeah. So everyone <laughs> definitely needs to go out to Kerr's Wing House tonight then and definitely check out the event. Again, two dollars for every appetizer ordered, and from four to eight, they're doing raffling there and everything. So definitely go check this out for a very good cause. I'm sure you guys are really appreciated too. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Well, thank you. Oh, wait, where can people go for more information? Crystal Hall seven seven at gmail dot com or Kerr's Wing House in Sarasota. All right, so those are the two places to go for more information. And thanks for coming on the show today, guys. Thank you. Thank I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And coming up next on Suncoast FYI, Goodwill Minnesota and Child Protection Centers team up for a good cause. We'll have the details after the break, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. I'm Cassie Knoll. Goodwill Minnesota and CPC are working together to raise awareness about a very important subject. Kelly Davis Strasbaugh and Melissa Lane join me now to give us the details. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you Thank for you. having us. It's great to have both of you guys here. You're both very wonderful interviews, so I'm very excited to do this. So, Kelly, tell me, how is, what, is a, what is Goodwill up to? Why are you here today? Well, we all know that Goodwill is a great place to find awesome bargains. We, our mission is changing lives through the power of work. We work to help people get jobs. We work to train our local community. But we're also an awesome place for people to shop for fashion. And any, anybody who knows anything about fashion, it's a great way to make a statement, to raise awareness, and you show your personal style. That's what people notice about you. So... Since fashion is this really cool tool that we can use, we decided to look at trends for April, and we noticed blue was popping up everywhere. So we also noticed that blue happens to be the color for National Child Abuse Prevention Month. April 10th, today, is actually National Child Abuse Prevention Day. So we've got so, the month and the day. The month and the day. Which is why so we're all double. wearing our blue yes. and our blue for the day today. So while we were talking about promoting blue, especially in our stores, because we're trying to stay up to date on the trends to help our shoppers know what to find, mm -hmm. um, we, we talked to Child Protection Center and we said, how can we help with this this raising awareness? You know, we're encouraging people to shop at Goodwill to find their amazing blue clothing at Goodwill, but how can we help you specifically? So that's when we um, spoke to Melissa Lane. Yes, and thank you so much for that. It's been <laughs> wonderful. You know, we've been working with a lot of businesses in town to help spread the word throughout the month in our Paint SRQ Blue social media campaign. Uh -huh. And it's been incredible that Goodwill has stepped up and they're doing the Blue Rounders mm -hmm. with information about the realities and statistics of, of child abuse in our own community. So you guys actually have the information in your store yes. about why the blue clothing is so important. Yeah. And when, So when you walk in, we have our seasonal rounders. And uh -huh. we try to have featured items there to make it easy for people to know where to go when they first walk in, what to find. And so we're going to have signage that will have information about why it's blue because we have a lot of people asking. And, and it's just important for us to know. When we were talking earlier, I mean, when you see something about, like, animal abuse on Facebook, people share it, it spreads like wildfire. But with child abuse, it's kind of ignored. It's just something people don't talk about it's as much. Uncomfortable. It's a very difficult subject matter. Yeah. But, and unfortunately, a lot of people put up their blinders to it, but there, there is a reality. We do have one out of ten children in our own community suffering from sexual abuse. Oh my goodness. And it, uh, yes, and we have had, and I think it has to a lot to do with the building of awareness that's been happening mm -hmm. um, and the reports coming in. People are making those calls to the abuse hotline yeah. uh, to let us know when something is wrong or seems wrong yeah. in, in a child's life. And because of that, we are up 95% in our medical forensic exams that we do at our center mm -hmm. that helps in the case um, when they go to court to help uh, a child through that process and, and, and uh, getting the perpetrator behind bars. Because, I mean, really, it's a child. So it it's they probably don't want to talk about it or well, know they or have, they've been told not to talk about it. And, and oftentimes they're coerced or they're, they're threatened that yeah. they can't talk about it. So having an individual who suspects something is happening in a child's life that seems off, calling that abuse hotline is so important. And in partnership with the state attorney's office, law enforcement, and Department of Children and Families, we work to protect those children and get them out of unsafe situations. Which is why the CPC is so important, and especially this month and this day. That's correct. Are just even more of a reason to talk about it and raise the awareness 
can wear something blue to raise the awareness for it. And, and it's, it's we, you know, not everybody can afford to give a million dollars to a charity. Not everybody can give 30 years of their time. Um, but you, it, it can be as easy as wearing a color and sharing a hashtag on social media. It's all about starting the conversation so we can break the cycle. And that's, I think that's why we, our partnership is so cool mm -hmm. because we can use fashion, we can use a color and help spread that awareness that many people forget about. And like and you said, they turn a blind eye to. Exactly, we have businesses throughout the community that are doing blue window displays and we oh, have wow. our butterfly decals up in their window. Mm -hmm. um, also tonight, and Burns Court, they're doing a sip, shop, and stroll oh, that sounds event. Fun. It has a little secret surprise to it, so anybody in the community <laughs> make it out there, go. They have blue balloons, El Boutique, and Rustic Rooster, and many of them are doing blue window displays. And um, you know, getting the word out, we have our bracelets at those locations mm -hmm. and others, and uh, you know, of course, Goodwill. If you want blue to wear tonight, yep. stop, pick up your blue and... And the weather's cooperating too, yes. so it's just all around what you should do. Yeah, exactly. and like we and we just want people to like make it something at work. Have everybody wear blue. Um, you wore blue, which was awesome. Yep. We appreciate that. Yep. So <laughs> have everybody wear blue, make, make something out of it and share a selfie on Facebook and help us spread the word. Get your items at Goodwill, help create jobs, and then you're, you're doing something great for two local nonprofits. Which when you said share it on social media, yes. you each have a hashtag. We do. That's to do right. This. Goodwill, our 2015 campaign is Reinvent Yourself and it's teaching you how when you donate an item, you can help reinvent the life of someone else. And when mm -hmm. you shop, you can reinvent your own life, whether it's your style or um, or anything like that. So we have hashtag reinvent yourself. Okay. So if you can tag us, we love seeing what people find at Goodwill. Uh -huh. And we have hashtag paint SRQ blue, and that can go up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Everywhere. We will share it uh, once we see that you've mm -hmm. made that post. Mm -hmm. And and then also the businesses too. So if you see something blue, maybe you're not wearing blue, but you see something blue, yeah. you can post that and hashtag paint SRQ blue. Because we want even with wearing blue, yeah. include that, yeah. reinvent yourself as Because well. I was say, besides wearing the blue color, like you said, it, on Anywhere. social media, it just sets fire to, yes. to right. a, a subject matter. So that's probably a good way to Let's paint Facebook yeah. blue. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is why I said they're great interviews, because they're so much fun. <laughs> so where can people go for more information about Goodwill? Let's start with Goodwill. They can come to experiencegoodwill.org, uh -huh. um, check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, like our Instagram. Um, that's the best place to find information about Goodwill, and we'll be sharing as well back and forth with Child Protection Center. And where can people go for information? For we child? have all of our activities for the month listed on uh, www.cpcsarasota.org uh -huh. and on our Facebook pages as well. And that's the Child Protection Center start there. But we have others, too, linked with our activities. We have Paint the Town Blue Facebook page. Mm -hmm. You'll find us everywhere. All right. Well, definitely go check out those pages and uh, go out to Burns Court tonight. Yes, good times please. out there. And wear your Goodwill Blue. And wear yes. your Goodwill Blue. <laughs> and there you go. Well, thanks for coming on the show today, guys. Thank you for having us. You're Thank awesome. Thank you. And coming up on Suncoast FYI, a night filled with fun and family entertainment, all for a good cause. The details are next, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. I'm Cassie Knoll. If you are looking for some good family fun, you may want to check out Kids Black Tie, Dress Up Under the Big Top, next weekend. Here to tell us more is Leah May from UCP. Hi, Cassie. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So tell me about Kids Black Tie. So Kids Black Tie is an actual black tie event for kids and their families. So the kids mm -hmm. will get dressed up as, as comfortable as they feel getting dressed up. Same with parents and grandparents and friends. Um, and we will have a sit-down dinner with a circus performance oh my and live auction and silent auction. So it's like a very mature night for kids. For kids, well, when I was little, and my parents would go to black ties, I would always say, why can't I go with you? And they'd yeah. say, because it's not for kids. Mm -hmm. And I always wanted to experience a black tie, so I thought that this would be the perfect event so kids can actually experience what their parents go to. That is such a great idea. And little girls usually love to right. dress up. That's right. The little boys, they can handle it for a night. They can handle We're thinking like a lot of little boys will have bow ties and, you know, maybe not jackets because it's going to be a little bit hot. But, um, but they'll be so cute. They'll be so cute. It's going to be so and cute. And we've already had some um, kids that have already dressed up a little bit. That's right. At uh -huh. our photo shoot. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. 
Which is a good example for maybe what other kids may want to wear. That's right. So tell me about the circus acts that are going to be there too. So the cir we're going to have um, different cir circus acts from the Sailor Circus. So the mm -hmm. children um, will be performing, oh, okay. which I think is so cool and really fits into our our theme. Yeah, the kids get to see kids their own age. Yes, kids their own age performing. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. So how, how will the night go? So the night will start, um, the toddler time is from 4.30 to 5, mm -hmm. so kind of for the really little ones. Yeah. And then at 5 o'clock we'll actually start the event and that's cocktail hour for the parents and we'll have mocktails for the kids. Uh -huh. We'll have um, games set up around the room so kids can go play carnival games and all that type of stuff. We will sit down for dinner at 6 o'clock and then the circus performance will start. We'll oh, do wow. a very, very, very short live auction mm -hmm. um, because we need to keep the kids' attention. Yeah. And then we will um, move on to dancing. Oh my gosh. It's so much be, fun. It's going to be so much fun. So what kind of music are you going to have for the kids to be dancing I heard to? Top 40 is really popular. Okay. I don't really, I listen to country music I do at too. oldies, so it's, you know, <laughs> I think Top 40 is really popular for kids. Okay, so that, that sounds like a fantastic And evening. we will have requests, too. Okay, that's good, because mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll have their favorites. They will, yes, they will. So what age range of kids are coming to this? So, I mean, we really put kids down from basically 2, two to um, 20 our ticket price is fifty dollars, so that would be considered a kid. And then oh, up to twenty years up old. Up to twenty years old, because I, I feel like you know kids can't drink. They can't yeah. drink, and so yeah, yeah. So that's, and then zero to two is free, but we're they're you know very much welcome. Uh -huh. And then um, then we have our adults. That is amazing. So, but people need to have tickets though to this. Event. Yes, that is correct. So mm -hmm. that you know how many people are coming. Right. It, we have we'll have assigned tables, and yeah, we will need to know ahead of time, so we won't be able to do any. Um, at the door. We probably could do day of sales, but yeah. not at the door. Okay, so um, you still have tickets available? We do. Oh, but they are going fast. Let's talk about the date of the event. Okay. Since oh. we're talking about the event and haven't right. told them when it is yet. Okay, so it's <laughs> April 18th. Okay, so and it's next Saturday. Next Saturday, and it's at the Circus Arts Conservatory on Bay of Vista. Okay, so mm -hmm. now that we know the date and the times, uh -huh. now, so where can people go for more information about the event? So www.kidsblacktie.com. Okay, and then you also have your UCP Sarasota website uh, yeah we do have our ucp sarasota website but the easiest way to get tickets would be to kids visit yeah, kidsblacktie.com so um so this is the first kids black tie event this is our first one and we really have been working on this for two years i mean so we're, we're really really excited for this to happen i'm excited about the circus acts that are going to be there oh, i know it's going to be great That's it's going to be great it all, it's all tied in and our whole theme this year is circus theme not not for people to necessarily dress up in circus theme, but it yeah. is a whole circus theme event. And then we're thinking as the event, you know, as each year goes on, we might change locations and do different, different themes. themes. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. So all of the proceeds from this event, or how does this benefit UCP? So all the proceeds benefit UCP. And tell me a little bit about what UCP is for those that don't know. So UCP, we serve adults with disabilities. Mm -hmm. And the reason we serve primarily adults is because uh, children with disabilities get to go to school until they're 22 years old. Mm -hmm. And then when they turn 22, the school um, there's no more school. So then that's when they come to us. Okay. And we have an adult day training program, which mm -hmm. is um, a, a, a center that they come to and they learn life skills and, you know, interact with other people. So it's it's wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. We serve wonderful people. How I'm many, very lucky. How many people roughly do you take care of? 125. That is a lot of people. It's, it's a lot, yes. So definitely a very good cause. Very good cause and, and all the money stays local, which is great. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So again, kidsblacktie.com. That's the website to go to. Yes. The event is next Saturday, April 18th. April 18th, yep. And people definitely need to buy tickets to let you know they're coming. Yes. All right. We'll definitely go check it out. And thanks for coming on the show today. Thank you so much, Cassie. And stay tuned on Suncoast FYI. We'll be right back. That's our show for today, and thanks so much for joining us. If you would like to promote your business or event on Suncoast FYI, we would love to hear from you. Just call our sales department at 941-361-4223. I'm Cassie Nall, and we'll see you next Friday on Suncoast FYI.